short nails. How cute are they? Those of you who know me know I love long almond, but today we're going to do short. I'm going to show you the cute ways how you can make short look a little longer and so they don't look thick and bulky. Let's get started. I almost always do long, but I'm going to a wedding actually. I was going to do a long set and I had all these ideas, but I was looking at these cute little nails and I thought, I think I'm in the mood for a nice cute set. I tend to do that. They go long through Christmas then I chop them down for the beginning of the year and then I let them grow through to summer. So I'm in the short phase right now and I'm really liking it. There are a few tips though to make short still look long and not chunky. So I thought I'd walk that through with you and um, give you some tips to make that look really elegant and not stubby. The reason why I think we make them look so stubby is because we maybe make it a little bit thicker. And you know, it starts kind of with the form right out of the gate and I'll explain that. So when you get a form and you're putting it on the finger, see the little, the end here where I'm actually sticking it under the fingernail. Sometimes even people's different fingers can recess back in there a little deeper. So if you're trying to measure out for the number one, two, three, four, whatever number you're picking, if it recesses back in there too far, you might lose one of those numbers. And if you do it only up to the two, you've lost some of it recessing it back inside the finger. So how do you fix that? Well, you're really going to have to eyeball it when you recess that paper under the fingernail. I'm just going to form this up right now. See where that one is? Make sure that you can see it evenly on all of them. Now it might recess under a natural nail. Maybe some natural nails are longer, but you want to sort of get where you can see the difference. Some people will trim the natural nail. You can do that actually. That's not a big deal. Some clients don't like to look underneath and see the natural nail peeking out. And if that's your case, then just make sure you trim it a little bit. Okay. So you just want to slip that under there. I have lots of videos on form placement. This honestly, you guys, is very crucial. Getting your form right is the foundation. Wherever you lay the product in, when you take the form away, it's going to be in the form of the form, right? So that's why the form is so important. So that's the first step. I'm just going to check this. Yep, I'm happy with that. So the whole idea when we're doing fake nails is we're doing the cuticle area, the arch, the apex, the bump, you might say, and then the free edge. So when you do long nails, still the cuticle, the arch, and the free edge, they'll just be in different lengths. So the length is going to determine how long you want it, of course. When you do long nails, the longer you do it, the higher the bump or the arch or the apex needs to be. But when you're doing little guys, it doesn't have to be that high because you don't have the leverage on the end to have to be higher. That height is trying to make it so it's stronger because you have so much on the end. But we're going to go short. So short is very different. You don't have to have near as much product. I'm just going to grab my little brush. Okay, if you don't know, I have my new little brushes out, nailcareer.com. You can check it out if you're interested. I was selling them in a package before, but I'm all separating them now. So you can buy them either or. Okay, so I'm just prepping my brush. Now, if you go into your salon and you have long nails and you decide you want to go short, when you hack them down, they're going to be really thick. So it's not just a matter of, if you may have even tried it yourself, you may have tried filing it down and you realize how thick it is. That's deliberate. It's meant to be thick when the nails are long. But when they're little guys right out of the gate, when we make them short, it doesn't have to be so thick. Okay, so we're going to start with the cuticle. I'm just doing a little bit of liquid to powder, just give you a few tips on that. I'm going to get just a small bead. When you do the cuticle bead, you can do it a little bit on the wetter side, but the general rule is you don't want your bead running around. You don't want to be chasing that bead. That was a little bead. Now, when you're first learning, I do recommend take little beads. If you're watching social media, you will see some texts 
nail artist doing it in one beat. Yes, you can do that. It's great if you can do that. But that's not really the goal, especially when you're starting. And it makes no difference one way or the other if you do it in 10 beads or in one beads as far as the design look goes. So don't feel you have to, you know, live up to that, having to do one bead. So now I've done the cuticle bead and it's very thin in there. And now I'm arching up toward the arch point and I'm going to lay my second bead in and I'm just kind of flattening. Okay, so you can see that's pretty much covered the nail. If I left the nail this short, that would almost, let me just take a look. That's almost as much acrylic as I would need. I would just trim up the edge a little bit, but honestly, I wouldn't need to make it much thicker than that. It's kind of hard to see sometimes when you're on camera how thick that is, but you saw the size of the beads, eh? It's tiny. If I was going, let's say, I don't know if you can see the numbers on here. This is number one, this is two, this is three, this is four, five, Anything beyond a two is considered longer. So if I'm just going to the one, which is pretty much what these are, is just shy of the two, actually, maybe 1.5. So, I mean, this is really detailed, guys. <laughs> and that's what it is. It's all about the details that makes you really good at this. Okay, so like I say, if I was leaving this really short, and I've had uh, quite a clientele making their nails this short, I would leave this and then just file it. But I'm going to go a tad bit longer, so I'm just going to have a bead now to do the free edge. This bead will be a little bit bigger because I'm going to wrap it right from side to side. And that is super important when you're doing acrylic, is all of the fake nails actually, is you want to make sure you get it right to the side. Now ultimately I'm going to file this in a very gentle almond-ish round kind of shape, but I want to make sure I get that side. You can see my other hand here. See how I have a little tiny bit of a free edge and you can see underneath it's not that long and this hand as well. I've done these two, look how tiny those are. I did, these are the same length and I did it in squares so I can show you. What's really interesting about nails is I can wear um, any shape is whether I like it or not. I can wear long square and long almond. You see me have the long almond ones. I love that, but I can wear the long almond twice as long as long square. The long square kind of hurts my nails after it gets to a certain length. I don't really like it. I catch it on everything. It's not as easy to wear because it's more bulk. It has more surface area so it can catch on things. But when I went to the almond, I could not believe how much longer I could wear the almond as opposed to the square. Okay, I'm just going to add another B to just get a tiny bit more length because what I'm going to do is do it in an almond ovally shape. So I just make sure that the very tip is there because if it's not, it won't be the length that I'm looking for to make it look long. So I'm really just one and a half on this marker on this particular form. And I'm just showing you how you can do two shapes. This shape, I'm actually rounding it up on the nail, like shaping it almost the shape that I want it to be. And the other finger beside it, I did it in total square. So when I file it, I can show you. So here's just to show you how thick it is. If this was longer, it would be higher in here, right? but it's shorter, so we don't need to go that high. So hence, all over, it's just 
an all over look. If it's longer, it's going to be thicker, longer, but as soon as you go shorter, you gotta bring everything down, not just the length. That's cute. Okay, we'll let this dry. So with, I just need some files because I wanna be able to file this square one. So I have this square one that I've already laid out there. So let's say that you have a square nail and you wanna go a little bit shorter and more almond. You can make an almond or a pointy or a round right out of this square one. All you gotta do is take the sides, but don't touch the free edge. Like you need to shape the free edge, but there's gotta be the length there. You've gotta keep that there. So I'm just gonna cut off that side completely. And when you take the sides down, that's where it's gonna look a little bit bulky. So right out of the gate, you can take the sides and start tapering it in immediately. Now you see these other little guys? I'm trying to make this look like that. So now I'm just sort of shaping and taking away these corners. But I'm not gonna touch the length because I wanna keep the length to make sure that I have it to create a longish look, but they're still quite short. So if you go from long nails to short, right away you're gonna look at them and go, oh, these look really stubby. It's gonna take a bit of getting used to, but there is a little trick you can do too. See how this looks kind of round? kind of fat still, looks a little stubby, right? So the, the shape isn't bad, but it's the top part. So if you look down a nail like this, look at it this way, you can see the bulk on the sides. That needs to come in. So even though you might like your shape, don't touch that part. Go on the top side. This is a huge trick. It's often overlooked because you're so busy doing the shape, you've got it, but you're looking at it going, it still looks so fat. Why is that? It's because it's, it's top side fat, right? It's top side bulky. So what I need to do is go on that top side. That will change your nail game, you guys. That is huge. So what you want to do is from the arch point onward, you want to bring the whole thing down into that nice little arch you have on the end. And I will keep working on that. If it looks a little stubby, I will just keep shaping it and keep bringing down the sides. Sometimes a client will say, that it looks kind of stubby and they don't really know why, but if you go in and take away the sides, it can change the shape immensely and make it look like from a chunky little thing, even though you don't touch the length, you bring it all down on the side part and it can change the look completely. It makes a huge difference. It took me a while to figure that out because I felt I was doing everything right. And then when you look at the nail at all angles, I mean, this is a way you can look at it too, but when you look at it, that's the, that's the thing. you got to look at it in all the different angles. So look at it this way, and then you can even look at it this way. And I can even see it's a bit lopsided on this side. So I am going to file a little bit more on that. And sometimes it's just a matter of one, two, three, four, five. You've taken enough away. It doesn't have to be tons. This is what I'm talking about. It's all in the details. Okay, that's actually looking really cute. That's looking just like the other guy now. Now I will buff the surface around the cuticle a little bit just to blend the two together, but I wanna to get to this one. Okay, this one's not quite dry for filing yet, so I'm just gonna give it a sec. I'm just gonna trim up this little guy. I'm gonna get a medium file now and just soften the cuticle and blend the cuticle bead and the arch bead. I'm gonna blend those two guys together. And that was pretty simple, pretty quick. Yeah, that's looking really cute. I'm excited. I'm going to a wedding and I'm going to have short, cute little nails. I'm just in the mood for short nails. I don't know what it is. It doesn't happen very often. <laughs> 
especially if I'm creating a new set, sometimes I'll think of doing it short and then I get a form on it like, oh, I gotta go long. But these are really cute. Okay, so I will take my sanding file and I will smooth that out. So it blends really nicely and now it's ready for gel polish. Okay, this guy should be good. So I'm gonna get my coarse file. And this one didn't start off square. This guy, I was rounding it a little bit. So I'll look underneath. Here's what we can see. Remember that square nail that I had that looked longer, but once I take it away the sides, it looks exactly like these guys. It's so cute. It's just peeking over the edge of the nail. I find that a really great length. Okay, so you can see this one is twice as long, right? So I am just going to take a whole bunch off that way. I'm going to look. Oh. Oh, oh, I think we're pretty much there now. Now I'm just going to take away these sides. Now we didn't put a lot of product on this because we were building a short nail from scratch. We knew we were going to go on the shorter side, so we didn't have to put a lot of bulk in there. You can see how fast it shapes up, right? It's pretty good. Okay. Now, I don't know if you can see this, Carmen. If I twist my hand enough, let's see if we can see. If I twist it like this, can you see how thick that is? So this side needs to come down and this side needs to come down. This is okay. It's just the sides. And once we bring those sides in, we're gonna have a nice arch this way to withstand any stresses that you might have. Maybe you're a typer. Seat belts for the baby. Oh, those will get you. So what I'm doing with the file is I'm just going to angle it on the side. I'm not touching the side where I'm shaping. I'm doing the top side. So once I do that, I don't know if cameraman can see that. These are the details that makes a huge difference. Can you see that cameraman? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Can you see that? Giving a dolphin nose. Yeah, yeah. That's where I came up with that dolphin nose. Is this how you can see how that is shaved off and you see how thick that is? That's what we're talking about. Did you get that shot? I think I did. Awesome. That's great. So that's what we're talking about, filing the top side to make it look nice and slender. Now, you may need that top side if you're going to go longer. But as you come off the free edge, you've got a lot more room to play with to bringing down the dolphin nose. Here, we have to start the dolphin nose immediately. Right after you leave the arch, you got to come in right away because it's so short. We did it. That's it. That's great. Okay, so I'm just going to... Shake the other side up because I left it a little bit thick on that side. And I keep checking. Oh, yeah, that's looking good. I'll show you this one, actually. Maybe you can see what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. That's beauty. Okay, maybe you can see this again, Cameron. See that? That side was taken away. Now this side matches it. We're good to go now. That looks really good. I'm going to look at it this way. And sometimes if you get it against a uh, light background and use it as a shadow or a uh, yeah, it has to be a light background, a darker background. You might not see it as much. Um, and then you can just sort of look at it and you can get an idea what might be lopsided. I'm finding it a little bit heavy near the cuticle here. I know I'm doing a lot of talking. I apologize for those who don't want to listen to me talk too much. But this is a detailed video as far as getting that shape perfect. That is beauty. Me is happy. So I'm going to take my fine file and I'm just going to smooth out those little, the little free edge there. Just make sure it's nice and smooth. Beauty. Then I'm going to take my sponging file and I'm just going to, this isn't changing the shape. This is simply just smoothing the top. Great. Oh, this is so cute. Cute, cute, cute. Now I think I'm I'm ready for a wedding. Okay, I'm gonna polish these up and I'll show you in the reveal shots what they look like. You can see this one and I'll polish this one up. Let's take a look. Aren't those adorable? So just before you go, I just wanna show you, Cameron, can you see, just get a nice shot of the thinness. See, short nails don't have to be thick. They do have to be thicker than your natural nails so they don't break. That's why you're getting fake nails because most likely your natural nails break, but they don't have to be super thick. 
Thanks for joining me. Catch you guys in the next one.